Within the last year alone, we have seen a huge issue with school safety and whether or not schools are safe. And I'm not just talking about school shootings, but school safety in general. Are school buildings structured safely to where they won't collapse? Are we safe if there's a fire or a tornado? If an intruder were to come to the building, are we safe from them too? These are all concerns regarding school safety. I'd like to think that Crawfordville Community School Corporation is safe, but in reality, I believe that we aren't. Looking at the high school, for example, anybody can enter through the aquatic doors because they're unlocked throughout the day. Our windows aren't even bulletproof, so if somebody were to shoot the windows, they could easily shatter and break, and then anybody could come in through any of the windows here. And do we even have enough time to evacuate our classrooms if there is a tornado? Considering how compact our hallways are, it would be a mess if all 800 students were rushing just to get down to the locker room or the wrestling room, wherever they can fit. Okay, can I have your name? Sure. My name's David Pierce. I'm a U.S. history teacher. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here, this is my 10th year. So, do you think the school is safe? Yeah, um, I think it is. Um, we don't necessarily have any reason to feel like it's not safe. Um, do I think it could be safer for potential threats that other communities or other schools face? Yes. I think part of the reason we don't have the safety protocols or the safety measures that some schools have is because we don't face the same threats. Okay. Um, at the same time, um, our school right now as we speak is doing a, a brand new renovation for that. Um, our entire front office is going to be away from the huge entire side of the building window that we have of all glass and all the office is going to be moved to a more secure location in the guidance offices oh really they're, yeah they're moving because office. we want to be safer yeah that makes we sense. know we have to because um, the threats in the world today are just different mm -hmm. um i do think we're safe um and other schools are doing different systems one's called the alice system it's more of a proactive approach to maybe an intruder or someone that we need to be worried about in this building right. versus a defense it's more of an offensive um, okay, approach yeah. and i don't think we're there yet um, but again we don't face some of the threats that other schools face okay so yeah with the population that we have in the town sure like you explained before this is different than school safety is different wherever you live absolutely yeah okay other than worrying about disasters, what about our drills? Do we efficiently practice our drills and how effective are they? I think our strongest drill is our fire drill because we practice it the most often. To be completely honest with you, I think that our lockdown drill is extremely ineffective and if something bad were to happen, we would not be prepared. We hardly ever practice an actual lockdown drill and the one we currently have in place consists of cowering in the corner just hoping for the best. And to be honest with you, we would be in really big trouble if an intruder were to enter the classroom. Greg Hunt, Principal, Crawfordsville High School. Uh, how long have you been here? Uh, this is my 17th year at Crawfordsville. All right, do you think the school is safe? I feel the school is safe. I mean, there's always things that any school can improve on, but, uh, and we're working on that. We're talking about doing some renovations to the building to make it even more safe. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Uh -huh. So I'm excited about that, but uh, I feel like our building is fairly safe now, and I think the atmosphere here is pretty safe in our school too. Yeah. Uh, is there something, oh, well, you just answered question three. Because that says, is there something we could do more to make it safe and, and renovating it? Yes, here? I really am excited about the renovations. I hope that comes through, and the sooner the better, because uh, to, to kind of bring us to where other things are within the world, within other schools, and how they build schools now, uh, I really want uh, one a little better for the students, yeah. and uh, the things we're talking about would make it better. Yeah, it sounds like um, this is a good, good thing that's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to add to it, the elementary schools are just as vulnerable as we are, if not worse. I've been told by many of my peers that they just let their parents come into the building to collect the children, just as long as they say who they are here for. How is that a good form of security? At the high school, I've rang the buzzer multiple times, and the only time I've had to speak is when I had my hood up. Other than that, I've just looked into the camera and made sure they see my face, and I'm good to go. Now, while it is an excellent step to keeping us more secure, there are things we can further do to prevent intruders from coming into our building. The middle school is definitely the safest place in our corporation. 
It's a brand new building, bulletproof glass. The structure is phenomenal and makes a promise not to collapse. Upon ringing the buzzer, you go straight to the office and are secluded in a tiny little room before even being able to get into the office. The only problem with the door at the middle school is that it's magnetic, meaning if the power were to go out, the door would automatically open. The high school, on the other hand, what could be done is upgrading the school, which basically consists of maybe changing out the windows with bulletproof glass, if that's even possible. Improving our drills is another effective way of improving our school safety, especially our lockdown drill. Identifying yourself with a door camera is another one. Our staff isn't extremely educated on school safety either, as well as the community. We could do a better job of that by potentially hosting classes or publishing articles on this topic, furthering educating the general population on school safety and what can be done to help. If we can do all of these things that have been stated, I believe that we can be one of the safest communities out there.